From Washington, D.C. Roland Martin, how was your weekend? Weekend was great. Uh, at a black uh, media summit on Friday. Actually was a uh, uh, home for the weekend. Didn't have to go anywhere. Actually what? here for four days. What the what? hell is going on? <laughs> uh, thank hell? goodness. Because, uh, of course, with this crazy weather, you have no I, I wasn't playing golf anywhere. I was freezing my butt off if I did. Mm. Uh, and so, uh, so I <laughs> hate for that. And what did your wife say about you being home for four days? Like, baby, I'm glad to see you. Aww. Don't, don't, don't hate now. Come on now. My wife <laughs> likes to see me, <laughs> and I like hate. to see her too. Uh, so it's, it's all good. Although, I, although I wake up time this morning, I, I open my Twitter feed, and Felicia Henderson uh, sent a tweet out that BT has canceled the quad. What? She sent it out. So, uh, oh no. Y- yeah, 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 yeah. But, but like, I will say this here. I go first. The episode that I was on where TJMS was featured was the highest rated episode of the entire season. So they really they part. really do fire Nika Noni Rose, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, on so, that show. so she tweeted this out about three hours ago. So shout out to Felicia and oh. Mitzi Miller and Rob Hall and everybody. All the HBCU graduates who work on that show. So just want to go ahead and say that. All right, folks, I'll be back on the road this week in Greenville, South Carolina, at Clemson University for their Men of Color Summit 2018. Tom will be speaking. Uh, and uh, joining us right now is uh, Mark Morial, president and CEO of the National Urban League, who has also been involved with this particular summit. And, and Mark, we were in Memphis last week. There was so much focus on with, with AFSCME and the Coaching Church of I Am a Man. And, and, and I'm combining these two because it's interesting, that, that whole movement – was really about these black men and just basic respect. And so when we yeah, talk about yeah. inspiring young men of color to succeed, um, how do we sort of merge those two together in 2018? Well, yeah, yeah. good morning, Roland. Great to see you in Memphis and great to be in Memphis for such a historic and, uh, and special day uh, with so many folks. Uh, look, we, when we talk about our young our boys, our young men, our young black men, our young brown men, uh, part of succeeding is being, one, uh, a, a responsible citizen. And being a responsible citizen means standing up and being involved in the community. Those men in Memphis in 1968 were standing up, yes, for, for better pay, but for dignity and respect. And they demanded it, and they demanded it, uh, in uh, marching in Memphis and in advocating for better working conditions and pay for the Memphis sanitation workers. Today, with our young black men, as I said last year when I spoke at the Men of Color Summit and the year before when the summit was held in, uh, in Akron, we have to bust the myths about our black men and boys. Uh, our black men and boys are not, while, while we have great challenges with the school-to-prison pipeline, these conferences and our conversation also has to lift up uh, the successes and lift up those who are accomplishing and achieving because the role models for our young men and boys are right in the community, right, right near us, right around us. And so I think that uh, uh, academic achievement goes hand in hand with commitment and responsibility to the community. Also, I think, Mark, when we begin to talk about um, the role of men, whether they are college students or older, also the one word that I think a lot of people are scared to death of is accountability. Over the weekend, uh, Tony Robbins had to apologize for his comments about the Me Too movement, and he told this story about this, this Hollywood guy who was just stressed out over this, he had this really qualified woman, uh, more qualified than these men, but he didn't hire her because she was too beautiful. And I'm going... Man, learn to control yourself. And I said what Tony Robbins made the mistake was he did not challenge that man. And, and I say that because I believe when you talk about whether well, it's Me Too or other things as well, men should also be holding men accountable and not just making excuses. And so I think that's also a challenge for a lot of us, accountability. Well, it, accountability is, and we must hold ourselves responsible to be uh good husbands, good mates, good partners, good fathers, good people in the community. Uh, A strong black man respects our women, respects women in general. I always say uh, treat every woman like your sister or your mother. And 
bring that respect to the relationship and to the friendship. And I think Tony Robbins, we're in a different time when women and sisters are rightfully speaking up. And the problem uh, that the Me Too movement has exposed has been created by men. And men have to repair it and men have to fix it. And in our communities, uh, we have to teach our young men and our young boys to the best that we can about what responsibility and accountability are all about and what about self, what self-discipline and self-control are also all about. And, and these conferences create an intimacy and an opportunity for people to have a conversation about difficult topics. You know, well, some of these topics are difficult uh, to have a conversation around, mm-hmm. uh, but we must have them. One of the other things that I think also jumps out when you talk about these gatherings, uh, you have uh, some brothers, I was at one in L.A. recently, who said, man, they, they've grown up in other spaces where they were not around that that level of uh, black men, and, and they become empowered when they're able to, to be in, the, in, in these places. I think the, the summit in Clemson uh, is one of the best gatherings I have ever attended. Uh, last year, the sense of togetherness, the sense of purpose, the sense of cause with the brother who's the chief diversity officer, Lee, has done down there is incredible. And uh, it, it creates a sense of positive purpose. And that's what we have to do with black men and boys. We have to create a sense of positive purpose because the, negative, the negativity is all around. It's on the news each and every day. It gets baked into the culture. I want to push back against that because strong and great black men have been history makers in changing this country. And strong and great black men are in every community. They are teachers and pastors and uh, they're coaches and they're cab drivers and truck drivers. And uh, they abound. And we have to lift up those men. And those men have to not be afraid to lend their voices to this conversation. Yeah, shout out to Lee Gill. He does just an amazing mm-hmm. job yeah. down there. And, um, and Outstanding. Tom, Lee, Lee, Lee deserves uh, all the kudos. I mean, his vision, his determination in terms of what he's been able to do, very special. Yeah, we've, um, we've attended the, um, the summit for the last two years, mm-hmm. and this will be the third year that I've been a part of the summit. Oh, and yeah. it is amazing to see all these black these young it's black so heartwarming. Yeah. boys, yeah. Um, young black men, actually. And, um, you know, it, 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 it's, it's just it's really heartwarming. It and like really you say, is. in such an intimate setting where they can get all of this. Yeah. And Lee's got Lee, this model of what Lee does can be duplicated and should be duplicated it at other be, colleges right? and universities around the country because he's reaching a lot of people. But we know there are many more. Mark Moriyama, may I also give you a shout out? Um, you did a, a wonderful job last Sunday morning on CBS Sunday, giving a picture oh. of Dr. Martin Luther King with your wonderful mother, who I absolutely Thank you. absolutely adore. Thank you. Uh, yeah, who uh, happens uh, to be named Sybil Morial, by the way. Um, <laughs> yes, yes. But yes, it was really That's right. a great piece. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. My mom's a phenomenal woman, and it was an honor to do that piece. And it's as a piece indicated, she knew, she says, I knew Martin Luther King Jr. when he was just Martin King at Boston University, and we were in graduate school together. So, But he was always you know, very, very special uh, to be able to do that piece for CBS. All right. Mayor Mark. Thanks a lot. Hey. I'll see you this weekend strong. at Clemson.